Hey guys, it's Erin with Hand Stamped Style, and today we are going to make this adorable little um, tote bag that fits A2 sized cards in it. So let me show you how to make that. We're going to start out with two pieces actually that will make our box, and these are um, the measurements for these is six inches across by seven inches tall. Okay. So this is how I figured out um, how to cut these. You basically score at half an inch, and then at five inches, and then at five and a half, and then you cut off your cardstock at six inches. You'll rotate it and then score it at one inch along the bottom. Okay? And then what you'll do is you'll actually take your, your snips and you'll actually cut off this little piece, this little box down here at the bottom, and it's measured at half an inch by one inch. And that will create your little flap for your box. And then you'll need to cut a slit in the first score line that you come to on your double, on your double score right there, okay? And then we're gonna score it. This one's already been done. Um, we're gonna score this. And I always want to be sure that when I'm scoring these, that you're doing it so that the flaps and the folds all come in towards you, okay? So we're going to score all of these so that they come in towards the inside of the box, okay? So, and this is where um, it's kind of a different, a different fold. We're going to fold in, and then on that second score line, we're going to fold it backwards, okay, so that it ends up looking like that. See how it's bent like that? Okay. Then the next thing we're going to do, I've already put sticky strip on the flaps that are facing in, and this stuff is the best for projects like this. So we are going to, you're going to put in your sticky strip on each side, and then in order to put the box together, I like to kind of flip it over so that it's flat against the, the, um, the surface that I'm doing my project on. So I'm going to flip this one over as well. And we're going to put this flap here, this, um, this is what will be the side, and attaching it to the sticky strip on that flap. So what I like to do is kind of butt up. And I'm only sticking the flap in as far as that score line goes, okay? So we're going to attach, and something you want to keep in mind too is make sure that you put that sticky strip and butt it up right against your score line on that, on that piece. That way it, it gets a nice, solid, um, secure hold, I guess. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the other side, this other flap here, and that will make our entire um, box. And for this one, I like to fold it like that. Kind of try and flatten this out just a little bit. Hold that sticky flap down and then attach just like that. And that's how I check to see if it's square. If it'll lay flat on either direction, then you know your box is good. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we are going to fold in our flaps here, and I actually, oh, right there, put a piece of sticky strip there. You can either put it here or you can put it here, however you prefer to close your boxes. And oh, it's not sticking because I don't have any tension from the other side. There we go, and our box is closed. Okay. So we're going to set that aside. The other thing you're going to need for the top of the box are some scallop um, squares. And this is what I did. I used the um, scallop square die from Stampin' Up! to create my top. And what we'll do is once you've um, die cut it out, you'll actually score down the side of this end scallop here. And it's the width of the scallop. 
Okay, so you'll score there first. And then you'll snip off the ends that I've marked here in the solid lines. So two scallops in, you'll cut it off. And you'll end up with a shape that looks like that. Okay? And from there, we're actually going to fold on our score lines. Just like this. If you can, there we go. Just like that. And then we're going to attach this piece. I did the exact same thing to this as I did the, the Razzleberry color, okay? Um, the only difference is I cut the green one down the score lines as well instead of just scoring it. And we're gonna layer this on top of each other, okay? So a little Tombow glue here. I love this stuff because it allows you to reposition your object, whatever it might be, for a few seconds after you place it. As you can see, I didn't quite get it where I wanted it, but it is. Perfect now, excellent. There we go, and it's layered. The next thing we're going to want to do is to take our crocodile, and I know I've shown you this before, but the crocodile has a large and a small hole punch on it. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to use the small hole punch side, and I've set my locking mechanism so that it allows my cardstock to go in a fourth of an inch in, um, in here. We're going to put some holes for our ribbon. So we're going to punch a hole on either side with our crocodile. And then we're going to secure it to the back of the box. And we're going to use more sticky strip for that. Okay, so we're going to put this piece along the back. And of course, again, I'm butting it up against the score line because I want it to match really perfectly. Okay. And then I'm going to put another couple of pieces down here just because I really want this to be secure to the back of the box. I don't want it to come apart. Okay. Then we're going to take our box and we're going to butt the box against this um, bottom score line here. Just like that. Okay, and then we just kind of add some pressure to make sure that it's down and secure and perfect. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our ribbon. Now, as you can see, this ribbon is about 11 and a half inches long. It's our pink taffeta. I love this stuff. I've put a knot in one end and I'm going to spin this end um, kind of like, I don't know, a needle thin, round, and you feed it through, okay? We're gonna do the same thing to this side. Just get it small enough to feed through the holes. It's hard to do when this is on camera because I can't really see. There we go. And then we're gonna put another hole, another knot, excuse me, on this end. Okay, cut off the excess. Pull this out. There is our strap for our little tote. Okay? So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make our sentiment. This is what kind of will allow you to open and close the bag itself. So I've pre stamped this sentiment on white cardstock. It says, You mean the world to me. I'm using our de, um, designer, label, pun designer label punch. And um, this is the sentiment is from our wordplay set. And as you can see, let me put this against the dark cardstock. This is what the shape originally looks like. Now I've made a couple of other ones here, one in pink pirouette and one in bashful blue. And I've cut them. So I've cut one down the middle, and this one I cut the just the ends off the bashful blue. Okay? And we're gonna layer those. To the back of to the back of our um, sentiment. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of glue on 
the pink pirouette and we are going to label the or sorry layer these just like that it gives this punch a great border and this is such a great shape that I it's kind of nice to to give it a layer now the trick with the side pieces this little hump this outer hump you want to cut that off on both of them you just want that inside I don't know swirly do or whatever you want to call it okay so we've cut that it looks kind of like a crown sort of okay and we're gonna put some more glue on the sides here then we're gonna layer the sides out oops so it's great about this glue is that it, even if you just smudge a little bit you can just kinda work it back where you want it to be all right we're going to set that aside just to dry for a quick second. It really doesn't need that much time to set up. Um, okay, so then what we're going to do is make sure that our ribbon's inside. Um, we are actually going to get our Velcro pieces for the closure of the box. And we're going to set those aside. So those are ready to go and I've just layered one on top of the other you probably can't tell in the video but this one right here is sticky so it's ready for me and our label has probably had enough time to dry we're gonna use a little bit more sticky strip if I can find the end we're gonna put a piece along the top of your sentiment if you can see top and then there's sticky strip then the other thing I really like to do as well is to put a piece oh too much stuff along here and that just really makes sure that the label will connect to the scallop itself so I'm going to take this off the little top part that keeps it from sticking to you until you're ready then we're going to attach our sentiment. We're just going to push down. There we go. And it's adhered. Now we are ready for our Velcro. Here's what we're going to do. I like to put the soft side down in case that comes into contact with anybody. So we're going to put both pieces along the top here, then you want to make sure you get the lid to push down exactly where you want, and you're not going to get a real secure attachment at the very beginning because the Velcro is super sticky. So you have to be kind of gentle, and then you'll stick your hand in and really push it down and make sure that it is stuck and then you've got your box very cute and easy have fun making it and thanks for stopping by have a great one